On April 23, 2019, a new submarine, Belgorod, has been launched by Russia from Sevmash shipyard in Severodvinsk in northern Russia, which is in the White Sea. According to state-run media outlet TASS, President Putin watched the ceremony via a television link-up. Construction will now continue with the boat in the water, and the Russian Navy is expected to formally commission the submarine sometime in 2020. The massive Soviet-era Typhoon class had held the record for the longest submarine for almost four decades. But this crown now belongs to Belgorod. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes world's largest submarine, K-139 Belgorod, that could be used for launching nuclear-tipped Status-6 torpedo. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Belgorod was laid down in 1992. This is one year after the disintegration of the Soviet Union. A decade passed with no major work done on it as there were no funds. The hull basically lay unfinished. In 2010, Russian decided to convert it into a special project submarine and the process was officially kicked off in 2012. Belgorod is basically a modified E Oscar II class guided missile submarine, also known as Project 949 AMs. This will be a one-off vessel, and the actual role of this submarine is shrouded in mystery. Belgorod is a highly modified variant of the Oscar II class of nuclear-powered guided missile subs. The Oscar II class had a length of 505 feet, and the Typhoon class had a length of 574 feet. Belgorod has been lengthened from 505 feet to 604 feet, making it the longest sub in the world. Oscar II class in its original form had a very wide body. This was done so that it could accommodate 24 P-700 Granite anti-ship cruise missiles between the outer and inner hulls on each side of the submarine. The primary objective of this class was to take out U.S. carrier battle groups with a salvo of this long-range supersonic cruise missile, which is capable of carrying a conventional or nuclear warhead. Viewers may note that P-700 Granite is a massive missile and needs a lot of space. Oscar II class displaces nearly 20,000 tons, but Belgrade is expected to place 30,000 tons. To give a perspective, this is 50% greater than the U.S. Navy's Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines and significantly more than Typhoon-class that displaced around 24,500 tons. It's thought to be able to dive to 1,700 feet. Russia has been tight-lipped regarding the actual purpose of this vessel. This submarine will not carry the P-700 granite missiles. As per initial reports, the sub will carry a large array of special equipment, including submersibles, ROVs, airlock chambers for divers, and even large pieces of cargo. The cargo could be anything. For example, self-contained nuclear generators that could power sensors in the seabed for an almost unlimited amount of time. These sensors could be used to monitor NATO subs and ships remotely. Another possibility is that the sub will have special equipment for electronic warfare that could be used to tap fiber optic communications cable which are located down in the seabed. It may also accommodate some tools that could be used to cut off these cables. Some analysts have pointed out that the extended length Belgorod will be used to deploy Status 6, which is also known as Canyon. 
The Status 6 is a nuclear-powered and nuclear-armed unmanned underwater vehicle being developed by Russia. The first public report about the canyon was in September 2015 and cited Pentagon sources. On November 10, the Russian television station NTV accidentally showed a document in the hand of a Russian general during a report in which Russian President Vladimir Putin denounced American plans concerning defensive missiles. There was debate afterward about whether this was a warning to the West or disinformation. A Pentagon draft nuclear posture review report leaked in January 2018 stated that the Status 6 is a real weapon and is under development. Limited information is available on Status 6. It appears to be a deterrent weapon of last resort. It's reported to be designed to be a torpedo-shaped robotic mini-submarine that can travel at speeds of 100 knots. That's 185 kilometers per hour. More recent information suggests a top speed of 56 knots, that's 100 kilometers per hour, with a range of 6,200 miles or 10,000 kilometers and a maximum depth of 3,280 feet or 1,000 meters. This underwater drone is perceived to be cloaked by stealth technology to elude acoustic tracking devices. The Russian superweapon is more or less like an underwater intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM. Status 6 is rumored to possess a very destructive payload. It's expected to be large enough to carry a 100 megaton warhead. For comparison, Hiroshima's Little Boy bomb had a yield of 13 to 18 kilotons, whereas Nagasaki's Fat Man bomb had a yield of 20 to 22 kilotons of TNT. This weapon could create a tsunami wave up to 500 meters tall that will radioactively contaminate a wide area on an enemy coast with radioactive materials. The U.S. Navy would need to look for Status 6 using similar systems as it does for anti-submarine warfare, though it will be harder to detect being much smaller and less noisy than a traditional submarine. Even if detected, there will be no proper defense as the weapon will explode if hit by a torpedo and ultimately there will be nuclear fallout. Belgorod could accommodate Status 6 by having a customized compartment which could be built in the space that's freed up due to the removal of P-700 cruise missiles. Currently, Russia is facing funding shortage and many defense projects have been postponed due to this. At this time, Russia spending a significant amount of money on an experimental submarine makes sense only when it has very important strategic value. The US and NATO members are developing an anti-missile defense system. Vladimir Putin has said that these will pose a serious threat to global and regional stability as these will degrade Russian nuclear deterrence. Keeping this in view, Belgorod could actually be used to deploy Status 6. Though Russia is developing offensive systems capable of penetrating the air defenses, the Status 6 could be an alternative mechanism of nuclear offense. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.